the debt ceiling, is it the beginning of a problem or the end of one? So me and Toby were talking and we said, you know, some of the work that we did said the debt ceiling was just, I don't know, it was kind of the beginning. Everyone's like fixated on it. But does the debt ceiling create, I don't know, or trigger a larger problem, like say with banks or with government debt, or actually, we don't know what, let me not put a cap on it. You seem to think that we could do work on both timing and like try to figure out what it was using your intuitive methods. Yeah. And <clears throat> excuse me. It's always really important when a crisis comes around, right? right? To, to try to figure out what are they distracting you from? If everybody wants to talk about the debt ceiling, what's the thing they're not talking about, right? Right. Because almost all crises are a distraction from something they don't want you to pay attention to, right? Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah. So let, let's see what the next potential issue is or the thing that they're trying to hide from us. Okay. We got the cards. Let's put them in nice three piles. And then why don't you go ahead and ask me a specific question and we'll pull on it. Okay. So uh, will, are banks the next problem? Is it banks or government debt? Does that, okay. does that work or do you need a different question? What, no, we can. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't work well with yes, no questions. Are banks the next problem? That's a yes, no question. That's kind of tricky. But okay. but should we, should we be more concerned about um, problems with the banks or problems with or maybe we could do finance versus geopolitics. You know, is it like, is it financial or is it geopolitical? Okay. Financial. It's financial. There's a, there's a, a harvest coming. Okay. So the best attitude for people is wait and see. If you've done the work, if you planted the seeds, if you took care of the weeds, if you're doing all that work. Okay. Then there is a financial harvest coming. Okay. And let's put some bias, but that sounds like crypto. You know, yeah. did you get some crypto? Oh, and then there's a, a king of pentacles. So we see some stability coming with the king of pentacles. It can also be a little bit of resistance. The king card tends to be very fixed on one thing. So this could represent um, legacy coins here. And then let's pull okay. the other one here. And then we have a time of testing. Okay. Now I'm going to pull, let me pull this chart up here. And let me pull a timing card and see when the next crisis is coming. We got, okay. We got a nine of coins. So that definitely is about. That's right here. September. So that's September. Yeah, we keep getting that, don't we? We do. <laughs> we keep, keep, we keep getting logically with the cards. Everything right is coming to September, sometime in September. This is an early part of September, um, but we've also got some stuff going around the end of September. So I'm not seeing a geopolitical thing in, in that time. It looks like it's still going to be some financial. financial stuff. Yeah. So this idea about harvest and the and the king. Um, what is the king doing? Is he like how how do you how do you fit the king in? Because I'm trying to figure out if that's like a a president, a bank chairman, the Fed chairman. It like, could be it could be an actual uh, it king. could be an actual person coming. Oh, I'm not a king. Right. We don't have king. United States. Right. <laughs> well, maybe. Well, we except do. for Jerome Powell. Right. 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 Maybe. Maybe we do. Yeah. So um, the king represents an authority figure. The pentacles is around funny okay. so you could expect to see some regulation maybe coming into play mm -hmm. not not so much it's more about the idea of control how are they going to control things how are they going to control things so probably through the summer there's going to be a lot of issues around controlling the money now okay. is this them controlling it or is it a wake up call for us take a look at our finances and see what we're doing because we also have the harvest card here so if you've done the work the money's right. coming or if you've got a 401k this is what i think like if you've got a 401k mm -hmm. you know you got to think about where those assets are if there's trouble and then one thing i thought of with that you know with that king of pentacles card 
is can Jerome Powell, can they maintain control over things like interest rates? Can they, uh, can they control the stability of the government bond market? Yeah, let's, right? let's pull another card and see if we get any more information on the king. Well, this shows some stability coming. So it, it looks like they'll be able to get things relatively under control. Of course, there's always a sacrifice, right? Okay. When you when your focus is on control, then there tends to be a lack of growth, right? It, because growth needs freedom and movement, right? It needs openness. So well, I would say that smells like inflation to me. You know, may, maybe they got to continue to hike rates. Maybe this is like pull your money in because they're actually going to have to continue hiking rates like you know that's i i could see that definitely as a, I, there's a sense of smugness about this too the people in charge they're like no, we know what we're doing we know what you're doing you, you guys pay no attention to the man behind the curtain right i'm saying all right you know, right yeah uh, so yeah so it's just interesting um, to always think about what are they not talking about you know right and so what are they not talking about? Uh, well, they're good. probably, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're trying not to talk about inflation, right, and more rate hikes. I mean, they are talking about it, but that's not the headline news. Mm -hmm. The headline news is about, you know, the debt ceiling. It, it may be about the integrity of the government bond market. So, I mean, they've got this juggling act, right? I mean, if they continue to hike rates, do they increase selling in the bond market, right? Do they want to increase selling in the bond market? Do they want higher long-term interest rates right like maybe this is somebody saying you know what huh, everything's fine you guys deal with it i mean it's just, i mean i'm just bouncing that off you yeah well so the interesting thing about interest rates you know things tend to swing energetically from one extreme to another historically and you probably know more about this than i do but historically for the past, you know, 20 years or more, we've had really low, I mean, crazy low interest rates um, for a long time. So that would show, I mean, the energy always has to move in the opposite direction. So I wouldn't be surprised about them continuing to raise interest rates. And it will take something drastic, like more bank failures, I think they're super comfortable with letting small banks go away because they're funded by the big banks. So why do they care? Right. Or they can be absorbed by they the big can be banks. Absorbed. Right. And we did talk about the idea that possibly um, this could be a way for the government to start seizing its own. There is a, a movement within the government towards, you know, some sort of banking system, federal banking system. And that seems very likely, although possibly. So that could be the man behind the curtain, the, secret agenda to absorb as much of the banking system as they can i would i would guess there's a they're, they're going to be testing a lot of new things this is what we've we've got here so they're going to be trying new things but ultimately it's always about how can we control how can we control that's what they care about so let me pull two more cards one to see what we should oh we're moving into new territory there's a among the people right, right. There's a feeling of, okay, we did okay, but we want something better. So people are going, mm, that's a good sign for crypto. People looking for something better. None of this- I wasn't going to say it, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is because it's a, a new territory, right? It, so whatever whatever has been the security of people. So so he had a lot of security going here with all these pups. And, and he's like, yeah, but I'm still unsatisfied, right? So there's a movement towards new things and- you know, we've talked a little bit about my theory of this, you know, the social changes that are going to come and a lot of dis disillusionment. So that would maybe be driving it. People are going to be very, very confused, let's say for the next three months. I think there's going to be, you know, more interest rate hikes, more bank failures until people are just like, what am I supposed to trust anymore? So the moon card is about following your own intuition, but it's also about avoiding the illusions. And we got in another reading, you know, the this idea of illusions, 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 illusions right? Um, so finding reality within this projection of, of illusions. And, and that's kind of what the government does to us, right? It's just like, don't pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. 
Let, let's create a crisis here to distract you from what we really want to do. So that's what it looks like for the summer. That's so what I'm getting. Their money is their money and your money is their money. Stay tuned for another podcast from Bill and